one video. I hope this doesn't turn out to be too long once I edit it, but I am making a smaller birthday scrapbook album for my sister. So I've already printed um, plenty of photos, um, some that have two, you know, uh, three by four, some that are four by six, and then I did a few like collages too for in here. Um, and the photo album itself I've had in my stash, you know, I usually pick up, you know, these whenever they're on clearance from um, Hobby Lobby. I think honestly the price tag said I paid $250 for this one, but I've had it sitting. So it's really like an eight by five and a half album. And it says count the happies. And I do have one that's black that's an eight by eight. Um which is also a size that I could do, but I just figured that this size could be a little bit fun because I want to have um, an interactive pages. So I want to, there's 10 sheets. So that's also what made me think about the interactive. There's 10 sheets. So really I can only fit 20 page, 20 photos. I printed 36. So somehow I have to make um, extra sheets. So I was thinking on certain, uh, let me see if I can show you what I mean. So if I had, there's a scrap piece of paper. <laughs> okay, so like if I had something in here, I want to fold over the top part. That way I can put a photo on here and then have a flap to lift up. And then there's a photo here and possibly even here. So I think I'm going to have a few flaps um, on the basic uh, page protector. And what I'm also figuring is that it's post bound. It's two posts, so I feel like I'm also going to unscrew these and add in a few cardstock pieces that will measure, you know, that length, kind of like this, um, punch them, and then actually have, you know, extra paper um, pages that are outside of page protectors. So I'm also going all out with my fancy specialty papers because um, I have this whole pad of acetate and I think I like the white one. It's going to be like my opening sheet underneath a photo. the first photo. I think I'm going to use this black and white one and going to use, I pulled a couple of thicker pet pads, but I definitely have this happy birthday one. So, you know, maybe one of those or birthday wishes. Um, so I pulled just some bright stuff. I definitely kept the theme to this one. My sister loves rainbows, anything rainbow. So I picked out the acetate. I also have like this acetate that says, um, tell your story, grow where you are. This fun one, I think this is an old Amy Tangerine. She loves silver and not gold. So I have a glitter silver paper that I'm going to use. And she is such a fan of anything holographic. So... I've had this in my stash, so like I said, I'm going all out <laughs> with the specialty papers. I pulled a few tags because I also figure um, I can have some tags in between certain pages and stuff so that there's a little bit of interactive stories that I can take out. So these are just a few that were pre-made. I think they were like old Teresa Collins, I think. Um, so I have a few of those here, but I can always make some. I still have these We Are Memory Keeper big ones and I'm kind of feeling again on those transparencies I can put like this love is clear and make that as a sleeve that will be like an overlay to other ones because these are all backed clear so I had a few of these um, the papers I've chosen like I said mostly rainbow so I have this is Chamel it's a little photo so pink rainbow and then black and white were like the base of the other stuff. So I know a lot of these had black and white on the back. Black and white. Some of these were fun cut aparts that were in my stash. Even this one was flamingos and then the back was black and white. And then truly some rainbow. Um, what else is in here? Black and white. Rainbow again. This is like a rainbow star page. And rainbow and rainbow foil. And then rainbow here. And then I have a few like just black and white elements here. So you can see where I'm going with this. Um, I'm hoping this is not a huge project and I can, and I have a few flat stickers for mostly the alphas so I can see if I can make any kind of titles. These are just all like the cardstock stickers that I still had in my stash. And yeah, these are my thoughts. I also have a few, just this is some puppy ones. I thought a few of these black and white um, could go on like other interactive tags so I know that they can come out. I can make something into a shaker pocket. I pulled out this black sequence and then this pink one too. 
because I can definitely make a shaker pocket on one of these. And I have a few, this little word that was still in my stash, memories. We'll see if I use that one. So that's where I'm at. So this is a birthday present for my sister this time during quarantine. She usually has a big party at her house. She lives in New York. Um, but she can't have anyone over. She's, <laughs> you know, a little heartbroken over that. Things are, uh, we're living in a different world. And so I'm hoping that this sentimental, um, carefully crafted gift will definitely make up for it. And so it's also already late because I thought of this idea yesterday and her birthday's tomorrow. <laughs> um, but it's a thought that counts. And we usually do care packages, me and my sister, back and forth all the time, at least three times a year or so. Like we literally send massive boxes to each other full of just crafty stuff. Um, you know, pajama pants. We're always collecting pajama pants, stickers, chocolates. <laughs> stuff like that and I mean I could have sent her like a gift card to you know Target or something um, but I just felt like this is my jam and she likes she's she's a crafter too um, not as heavily as I am um, but I know that this will mean so much more to her and she can keep this like on her coffee table so yeah I'm just gonna show you my process and hopefully it comes together so that I can get it in the mail as soon as possible <laughs> <laughs> All right, so just hang out with me and we will be doing a little birthday mini album. But you can do this for anyone's birthday, not even birthday, just if you miss somebody or <laughs> it's Mother's Day or Father's Day. And honestly, I just went through all my pictures on my phone and just pulled anything that had us and the baby, which is my daughter, because um, she comes down to visit quite often. So all the pictures are of her and Valentina um, and just sweet moments. That I have of her. Um, this is when I went to visit her in New York. So baby and went to the Bronx Zoo. So strawberry picking here. So yeah so we have tons of memories and many more to make but um, these are the ones that I was able to kind of pull quick of you know and it's actually showing like Valentina grew up like I have some when she was just a little a little potato and now where were the ones where she was a little potato? Well, I have some <laughs> somewhere, <laughs> um, but she's just growing like this is all like year one. Oh, here when she was a little potato. So, yeah, I mean, she must have been like four months there. It's so strange how they're so big. She's going to be three in November. So, yeah, so this is my gift to her. All right. So hang around. Watch me get started on this um, and I'll probably show you a flip through at the end. All right. Let's get started. Okay, so some of my footage is going to be a little choppy, but we'll get through as much as I can show you. So I'm starting off with the first page, and I knew I wanted to use a piece of that polka dot acetate over it. So what I always did in order to make like just an extra page was um, measure the length of the page protector itself, including the area included for the holes and punched it out. That way I know it would sit perfectly um, into the album once it's post bound again. So I'm deciding if I want to put this holographic paper or the silver paper um, with the photo of her. This one I just started it off with because it was my favorite so I'd also printed it black and white. And so I cut the silver and the hologram and I think the hologram paper does win. Um, and I like that because like it, off the bat I kind of was just like I said using all of my specialty papers in my stash thought it was a very nice way to start the book with this like fanciness. <laughs> <laughs> and so I cut, I uh, used one of the stickers from that collection that says happy birthday and I do go back in and embellish it um, with some stars and a few sentiment um, stickers as well. So here I'm just working on a page that I just knew I wanted to candy topia pictures with that rainbow paper and I come back to it. This project was definitely done um, randomly at first and then I got in a groove and then I would do it at night. Um, so sorry that I don't have as much footage, but I do have a few of the pages that I did. So here's an example of doing a flip out because I measure it in order to tuck it and then I have my scoreboard in order to add those additional photos. You'll see some of the tricks that I do um, to include more because the photos um, I did print way too many. 
<laughs> but I thought of creative ways and all the tabs, uh, tags that I use for writing, they do get garnished with some uh, fancy ribbons and iridescent ribbons to know that there are pull areas. Um, so what I also did after I completed most of it was save, I think, the last two page protectors. So I left room for her to add pictures. So here I am just measuring out the page protector and creating the fold down for the tab and I like this idea too just in case I didn't um, provide enough or didn't print some of her favorites or in case she has some on her phone. Um, it's a nice little way for her to add um, about four pages worth of extra photos to her collection but I'll do a flip through right now so that you can see the final product of it coming together. Okay, so here is the final kind of product of my sister's birthday present. Um, I made her just kind of a scrapbook of all pictures of her and Valentina. Um, like many with a birthday during quarantine, it's a little bit different this year, so I just wanted to do something special. Sorry that the footage is kind of choppy on me constructing this, but as a quarantine uh, stay-at-home working mom, um, I was able to work on it so sporadically, so I try to film like just the basic page construction because I did add a few flips um, and how I added in the extra pages between the 10 pages of page protectors it came with. Um, but overall, it's just, you know, a lot of scrapbooking paper. Um, I went through a lot of my sticker collection and added stickers on top of um, the page protectors and all of the tab, all the um, fringe and stuff are all tags that I have writing on throughout the book. So I started off with a piece of the polka dot acetate. I have the happy birthday thickers um, and then a few of these little stickers. These were from like a Webster's Pages collection. And then the first page was like my favorite picture of her and Valentina that I made black and white. And I put it on that specialty holographic paper, added a few puffy stickers. These are Maggie Holmes and those are the Tim Holtz uh, word stickers. Let me see, I can probably zoom in a little bit, that way this can go. Okay, there we go. So I have to keep on lifting it up. <laughs> and I went in the order of the pictures of Valentina growing based on my phone. So <laughs> on my phone, as the, hard, the farthest I go back, I think she might have been like five, six months there, maybe four, um, I don't know. <laughs> But she came for a trip at that time. Um, again, this these are all tabs where I was able to write little messages um, to her. So all the ribbon are interactive, pullable sheets. Um, so these are in page protectors. This page is um, on just scrapbook paper, so it's not protected by the sleeve. So we'll see how it lasts through the years. Um, this one as well. So I added a sticker. That's an Amy Tangerine. And I'm having Miguel write her a message. So one tab does go back here. This one was cute. These are all Amy Tangerine, my sister. Um, this, so when they were a flip up, they all have this glitter tab. So you can see a few more are the flip ups. So it's just Minnie Mouse, us decked out. Valentina loves Minnie Mouse. Um, my sister is obsessed with rainbows, anything. So I try to keep that in mind when I pick things out. These are still from that Amy Tangerine collection with the donuts. So we drove over to Sarasota. This one was kind of like a thank you. My sister's really good at her cricket um, and making clothing. So these are all shirts and onesies that she's created for us throughout the years. Um, so that one was like hashtag Mexican. That one's like a Starbucks logo that says mommy needs coffee. I'm a good mom, but I curse a little. And my siblings um, have tails. So actually I cut off Zoe in that picture. But yeah, so that was like the message like kind of from Valentina thanking her for all of the super cool unique clothes she makes for her. Um, this is outside of a page protector so these are some um, chipboard pieces, puffy hearts, and the Tim Holtz again. This is another tab. We went strawberry picking one year. So pool pictures. These are from an old um, Me and My Big Ideas collection that I cut um, in pieces because it was one long strip. So that was a tab again with that silver. Then this was a tab that I let Valentina scribble on a little bit, so I thought that was cute, and I had the matching paper. Valentina's first birthday party. I used that um, holographic page again. I used a lot of specialty sheets. I also used that, the silver that you see here. Her favorite is silver, which is why I kept that. She's not a gold person, <laughs> so I remember to keep that in mind. Um, this tab, I actually uh, tag I made out of pictures, and I kind of made it like a book. 
There were just a few pictures that I printed way too many. So in order to still include them, I had to find just tuck spots. Um, and this could have gone here, or I mean, it could have gone, this one's just a regular page protector in here as well. So I just try to make it creative as possible for her to kind of enjoy this as she reads the stories and the messages and my thoughts on her being an awesome auntie. So we went to Disney World for her first birthday, splash pad pictures. And you see, I, I had plenty of rainbow paper in my collection. This is a piece of acetate again. And then these were um, done my collage four to a four by six. This is the size that fits into my happy planner or memory planner. So I used that a bunch of times here. We went to a JLo concert last summer. Um, this was just a piece of a... Uh, I just say tra uh, like a book report cover, so it's just clear. I have them around. Um, I get them at the dollar store, so they're just clear. So I put one of those big me and my big idea stickers again on it. it says besties, and these are from Maggie Holmes. It was one of my favorite pictures of us. This is when I went to visit her in New York. Puffy stickers, and these are all I think flourish um, pit, uh, papers right there. This is another interactive one, and this is from a sticker book from Happy Planner, so that's good. And that's that glitter glitter paper that I like, that I know she'll like. Our trip to New York, I went to a zoo there. And again, here's a tag where I wrote in the back, and then pictures that didn't make the cut, I made into a tag shape, and I was going to put ribbon, but I just decided to kind of keep... Um, them like that and then they kind of tuck really cute again it's just a way to add more pictures <laughs> I printed this one black and white it was very colorful and she actually has a tattoo that says smile it's kind of like her mantra all the time to stay positive so I thought that was perfect to include um, she came to Valet's second birthday party she flew down again she flies down a lot and that's why another thing it's been hard I don't think I've seen her since her birthday so I mean I haven't seen my sister in over six months right now and I used to see her every three months. <laughs> so we've gone a long stretch. Um, Christmas with matching jammies. I just wrote about our annual tradition about that. And then our last thing that we did together was Candytopia. It was here in Miami. And it was perfect candy paper. This one was from like Damask Love that was at Joann's. Again, rainbow and then chocolates inside. Like how perfect was it to document um, Candytopia? It was a fun event. I'm glad we did that. And so what I did for the last few pages was leave a few blank. And in one of the tags, I uh, explained, like, I didn't forget to fill it. I just wanted to give her options to put her favorite pictures of her and Valentina. So I just included some of the pattern paper and I added the tab there. Um, put one of these large stickers and that was the silver glitter uh, paper again. And putting a few little ephemera pieces and then this one's a rainbow that says live in color I made it interactive over on this side and then she does enjoy stars she has a bunch of tattoos of stars too so <laughs> I knew that one would help so I just wanted her to feel like in case I didn't print one of her favorites of her and us um, she could and she's hoping to come down in July if everything is better in the world and so maybe she'll add pictures um, from that visit um, into the back of this and kind of have this cause for the first two years of her and Valentina. So that's my book. I hope she enjoys it. I'll let you know. Maybe I'll post like an interactive little thing um, and on, on Instagram and hopefully she'll let me know obviously when she gets it and if she's pleased. But I do like it. I hope this gave you an idea for small mini books for maybe relatives. Um, it's a sentimental gift. This didn't um, cost much. You know, I printed the page uh, pictures at Walgreens and I had a 50% off coupon and then everything else was from my stash. But this is a kind of gift that just takes time. Um, and I th and me and my sister are sentimental. So we love stuff like this. Um, and then like the messages on each of the tags is what she loves too. Like we still write handwritten cards r randomly th to each other. So those are the type of girls we are. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're anything like this, this is something very nice. So for the holidays, I did it for a birthday, Mother's Day, Father's Day. It could be a really nice touch. Um, um, and just keep it in mind. It was nice to do and to reflect back on all the happy memories. Until next time, everyone.